Let's make a heroic action theme using just one library, Dark Academia from Audict. The purchase link and full music are in the description below. Many libraries concentrate on traditional symphony orchestra instruments, yet attaining absolute realism poses a significant challenge. While Hollywood soundtracks of the 50s predominantly featured orchestral pieces, the landscape has evolved in modern cinematic music. Dark Academia's creators demonstrate an intuitive grasp of the requirements of today's film composers, offering a solution that seamlessly blends orchestral instruments with synthesizer sounds, making it an excellent choice for film scoring. Unfortunately, we are not creating music for Godzilla vs. Altman. Today, we will compose music for your favorite hero and sorcerer of all time, Doctor Strange. Let's start with SFX. I begin with two soundscapes. Imagine the hero in the desert riding his dragon. Next, we're gonna use Deep Thoughts. Deep Thoughts comes in with F sharp. A sharp and an F sharp. Then we have a large cathedral organ to play a melody. Most instruments in this library have four left side knobs for band EQ. I'm gonna increase the lower frequency and reduce the higher frequency of this instrument. Again, you don't need to use all the instruments, but if you use many layers of instruments and if you have an engineer, they are probably going to rebalance the instruments for you. I'm just demonstrating to you what possibilities we have with these instruments. Entering the main section, I initiate with strings. Here I'm using the string shorts. I've added a second string, string shorts 2, which we're going to use as a second voice later on in the climax. For now, the string short 1 will play a modified Alberti bass with the first note on the top. It plays a triad in the root position. Remember to add velocity variation for nuance. Cello shots follow in the second inversion. Strings long plays single notes of the same chord. I have a solo cello legato double strings long in a lower octave. <music> Lastly, sorcerer strings introduce repetitive 16th notes for dynamic enhancement. The strings are complete. We're going to add Scholar's Brass to accompany the strings so the entire orchestra sounds brighter. Even though we're using synth instruments, we can treat the instrumentation as a standard orchestration template. Think about the different roles each instrument represents in the real symphony. This will give you a clear idea of the instrument structures and allow your music to sound wider and fuller. Together, these four instruments play the role of the trombones, the bass trombone, and the contrabass.
Moving on to the green tracks, these are the organs and harpsichords. I let the small organ come in halfway in the A section and let it double the string short 1 to give it different color. To add more percussive effect, I'm using the plucked harpsichord to play the fifth notes of the chord. Last step, we're going to add the drums. We will be using the catacomb drums and the medieval drum. Note that for the medieval drums, I'm adding some accents to make it sound more interesting. So on top of the beats, I'm adding some lower sounding bass drums. The last percussion is the xylophone. Let's have a listen to section A. Now let's work on the bridge between section A and section B. In this section, I let the small organ continue playing the triad, but much quieter than in section A. The small organ doesn't sound very bright, but what we can do is to double it with another instrument. I've chosen the string short 1 as its doubler. The catacomb drums will continue playing the bass drum pattern. Then I'm adding the upright felt piano and let it repeat on the F above middle C in 16th notes. Now let's add some special effects using SFX1. This versatile instrument offers various atmospheric enhancements. This one just sounds like someone's toilet, but it's okay. Doctor Strange might be doing some alchemy in his magical toilet. And if you're lazy like me and don't want to think of any melodies to write for the vocal part, this library is for you. The solo soprano voice has very good quality vocal phrases you can choose from by just pressing random keys. And you can choose different keys as well. Here we are choosing F minor because the music is in F minor. In part B, string short 1 returns, accompanied by the small organ, and strings long will play some sustained notes. Then moving on to the scholar's brass, which will play a melody.
Then we want to bring back the awkward bass and glassy to play some bass line. Here I'm using the large cathedral organ to play the same melody as the scholar's brass, but to give it more interesting touch. I'm doing some variations here. The two harpsichords down here play some silly percussive notes. I really like to use harpsichord in my music. It gives a dark and mysterious feel. The drums and the piano are still doing similar stuff here. I'm not going to repeat the details. What's changed in the percussion is the use of the glockenspiel. Steven Spielberg really likes to use the glockenspiel. It's perfect to bring in a fantasy feel. the climax, I usually like to add a quiet bridge. You don't have to follow my formula. It's a good way to form a contrast if you want the climax to be very dramatic. So we have these three instruments, string strut one, scholar's brass, and medieval drums, basically doing the same thing as before. Note that I've reduced lots of instruments here, so we have the room to push everything to a climax later. Specific instruments will launch rhythmic attacks at every two bars, creating a dynamic pattern. The sequence follows a rhythmic pattern like da da, rest, 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 and another bar of rest, and then repeat. Now we're gonna add the glockenspiel, xylophone, and the marimba. In the climax, on top of the Alberti bass, which is now played by string strut 2, I'm gonna add another string, and this one will play the fifths and the third notes all together. Here it should be an F and an A flat because it's in F minor, but I'm not gonna correct it here because this is not a scoring program. The strings long will be playing some attacks, however later on it's going to play some long notes. Then we're going to add the cello shorts in a lower register. At bar 36, I'm gonna add some sustained strings to help push it to the climax.
add in the salsa rest strings. A very untraditional instrument, it would be an alternative to a bass trombone vocado. The scholar's brass would work very well as an entire brass section. Let's have a look at what's going on here. It plays a melody here. Remember we use the strings to play the melody. To add brass, it will make it sound majestic. In the end, I'm adding some dissonant notes to create an intense emotion. Now we have the awkward bass playing some bass notes. Then glassy and the piano playing some progressive 16th notes. Harpsichord and plucked harpsichord will play the same thing as the glassy but in a higher register, and they will do this back and forth and call and response style. At the beginning of the climax, we will have the vocal to sing some phrases and the large cathedral organ to do some doubling. Next, I'm adding the small organ. It will play these repetitive notes and it will join the other instruments to play the main melody. Down here we have the percussion. It intensifies with the xylophone and the marimba. Last but not least, the triangle. I'm adding some triangle hits here and there, and a triangle row in the very end of the piece. This triangle instrument doesn't have triangle row, so you will have to do those MIDI notes here.
Note that I've let the drums keep playing for a few bars, symbolizing Doctor Strange's venture into the horizon. Thanks for watching this tutorial and subscribing to my channel. If you like the contact library Dark Academia, click the link below to find out.